Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be some highlights from the past few days and we're actually starting off here on Mississippi Acres where you may have just caught a glimpse of the first animal we're going to be taking down. That is a level 3 melanistic raccoon. Now this is actually the first trophy raccoon that I'm going to be taking out with the 243 ever. All of my other trophy raccoons that I've ever shot have been taken out with the 22 because it was before they got changed to class 2 rather than class 1. So this is my first kill actually using the 243 on a raccoon and honestly it just felt weird using a 243 on a raccoon. It felt like far too much of a gun to be actually using on such a small creature. But as you will have seen it dropped him right where he was stood and let's pick him up and see what he scores. He is actually a gold melanistic raccoon. 9.10 scoring and he's probably a little bit higher than that because of his weight being 9.19 kgs. So he could have easily been 9.2 on the score but either way I'm really happy with that. That actually makes up for the melanistic gold raccoon that I messed up a little while ago and this one is actually bigger than what the other one would have been. So that's really nice and now that can go in the multi mount with my gold melanistic gator. Now sticking with Mississippi here for this next clip and taking a look at this absolutely gorgeous turkey we have in front of us here. This is a rather small but very very rare melanistic eastern turkey tom. Now I got this guy's tracks on multiplayer and I actually became host of the session and because he was so small, in fact he is the minimum weight estimate for a male turkey at 5 to 7 kgs, I figured out that I would go and find his uh, feed zone and I would set up some decoys and everything and try and get him to strut on camera. Now unfortunately after spending probably three hours trying to get this turkey to strut he just never would so eventually I ended up just taking him with the 22 there. It was a real shame I really wanted to sort of have a proper turkey hunt and take him out with the shotgun as he was strutting but it just didn't work out. But we did bag this guy and he is an absolutely gorgeous bird even though he is extremely small for a turkey tom. He actually he doesn't even make gold he is a silver level 2 which you don't see a whole lot of these guys so that kind of adds to the rarity in my opinion a little bit but he is still absolutely beautiful and he doesn't look any different to you know if he was a decent sized gold or even bigger so he's going to be going somewhere in the trophy lodge on like in pride of place because they are absolutely beautiful and from one absolutely beautiful animal to another, we are now moving over to Leighton Lakes where we will be spending the rest of the video here in Leighton Lakes multiplayer. And as you can see, we have a level 3 albino bull moose in front of us. This is so cool to see. I love seeing rare moose. There's just something cool about an animal of this size being like albino or piebald or melanistic that's just so, so cool. Managed to drop him there with a heart shot from the 300 and yeah, he fell exactly where he was stood. What an absolute beauty. Now, I did already have, I think it was another level 3 albino moose bull in the trophy lodge. But this guy is actually slightly bigger when we take a look at his score. He is a 179.60 which actually does just make him a slight improvement over the one I had in the trophy lodge in terms of score. So that was a really really nice find. It's a shame he wasn't quite a gold, just a little bit under there on the score. But you know that is still a really really cool looking animal. They are absolutely stunning. Now sticking with the theme of rare moose and we're going to be taking a look at this moose cow here. Now this is a very very rare find and I was pretty sure as I was looking at it there that this is what I thought it was but I'd only ever seen one of these ever and it was on Xbox a very long time ago. So we're going to take her there with a lung shot from the 300 and as she was running off and as she falls down here there was no doubt in my mind that I had just shot what I what I had an idea that she actually was. That is a melanistic moose. Now a lot of people don't even know that melanistic moose exist. They're very very rare. As I said I've only ever shot one ever and it was on Xbox. 
And it can be quite hard to distinguish between the darker colour common moose and a melanistic. That's why I was sort of looking from side to side there and I was like, is that what I think it is? But yeah, no doubt picking it up, that is a melanistic. And they are really, really rare. So even though that this is a cow moose, she will be going into the main trophy lodge until I can find a bull to replace her with. And even even if I do find a bull, she might still have a place in the main trophy lodge just because you don't see many of these ever. They are just so, so rare. And I've been really wanting a melanistic for the trophy lodge. So when I actually found her, I was really excited, even though it is a female and a lot of people would be disappointed but the rare moose look cool i've put her on a full body mount which is you know in my opinion the best way to display something like this and she still looks amazing so i was really really happy with that and on the same server not very far from where i just shot that moose the next cool thing i spot is a level five black tail with the big diamond rack and it was funny because I had been spending some time in Classic and this was the first multiplayer server I joined like upon returning to Call of the Wild after probably like a day of just being on Classic and I shot the Melanistic Moose and then I see a level 5 Blacktail which I knew would be Diamond as long as I could make that shot because this rack is the bigger rack. And I really do like the bigger rack for the Diamond Blacktail. Again, I always say it, I know it's not the most realistic based off of what, you know, I've seen and what people have told me about real life Blacktail. But the bigger rack does look cool. And not only is he a diamond, he is a max weight at 95 kgs on the dot. 185 scoring diamond blacktail buck. That was really, really cool. Now, he's not actually my biggest diamond blacktail ever. I do have one that is 185.5 in the trophy lodge. I wasn't sure at the time if this guy was my biggest or not. But even still, seeing that max weight come up is always a really special thing. Even if he's not the highest scoring, it's really cool to see a buck of this size. And I was so, so stoked to get this guy down. Now, once again, moving to a different multiplayer server here. And as I came around this corner, I saw this level 4 moose and I thought, oh, that's a pretty decent moose. And then I spotted this level 4. 274 to 328 and he had the last diamond rack that I really wanted for my sort of moose collection in my trophy lodge. This was the last rack I have been looking for and it's on a level 4 that is almost a guaranteed diamond with that minimum estimate of 274. I was pretty confident this guy would make it because that is just an insane lower estimate. So yeah, took a shot of him there with the 300. He didn't go very far as that was a nice vital hit. And I really love this rack. It just looks so impressive. So the palms are like almost elongated and I just really like how that looks. And I've been really wanting to find this rack and picking him up. He is a diamond at 278.10. That is a really, really awesome bull. Single lung shot there from the 300 doing its job perfectly once again what an absolute monster of a level four i honestly don't know how this guy wasn't a level five he's just huge and like i said this was the last rack i have been really looking for to sort of complete that moose collection of uh, different diamond racks and different rares because we got that melanistic which was sort of the last rare i really needed so it kind of has now made my moose collection pretty much complete. If I could get a melanistic bull to replace the melanistic cow on the full body mount, that would be really cool, but I'm actually really, really happy with what we've got. Now, the rest of the video is going to be all about a couple of elk I found on, yet again, a different multiplayer server. So initially, I spotted this guy, a pretty big piebald level 3 bull with a pretty wonky rack as well. He was absolutely gorgeous. Now, I had got host of this session, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to sneak in there and try and get a couple of pictures of him and then we'll shoot him and take him down. Little did I know that this was to be one of the most cool encounters I've had in Call of the Wild in a very, very long time. 
this particular lake was absolutely on fire in this uh, in this multiplayer session and before anyone asks this was the only good animals i saw being harvested and that i saw in the entire session the three animals that you're going to see in this video are the only ones i saw and yeah so it as far as i can tell was a completely legit experience and i have to say that because of you know unfortunately there is so many hackers and stuff in multiplayer these days but you may have just seen what i just saw there and I didn't notice her when I was photographing the piebald bull. As I went to track the bull, who I think was the one warning calling there, a little bit of a surprise popped out of the group of females that was with him. A melanistic female. And she's about to run out in front of us here again. There she is. I couldn't believe I didn't see her. She must have just been stood in such a way that I just didn't notice because they, they can go unnoticed, especially if they're in the shadows. So I thought, right, okay, I want to get these guys at least in the same frame or same picture, something that, you know, so that I have them stood together in some kind of image, whether it's just a screenshot or whether it's an in-game photograph. And I actually did manage it just here. I actually managed to get a screenshot of them both through the binoculars when they end up drinking here in a second. But you can see, that's the piebald bull and there's the melanistic cow. I just couldn't, I could not, I couldn't. It was just so, so cool. And yeah, like I said, if you look through the chat, there's no diamonds and stuff being harvested. So I know that this was a legit server and it. this lake does seem to just be really, really good sometimes. And I never, never expected this to happen. This is actually where I shot the very, very tiny piebald bull probably a few months back now. I think he was a level two. And I was like, oh, I wish he'd been a little bit bigger. And then I came here and saw that level three piebald. And I was like, oh, that, that kind of works. That fits with the whole, the fact that I came here and found a tiny piebald. And now we've got a really big level three piebald here as well. But having the melanistic cow there too just insane melanistic roosevelt elk are very 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 rare you very rarely see them posted or anything and there i got a couple of pictures of them in the same picture they're not the best pictures and also a through the binos look there of them in the same area drinking what an experience now i spent quite a while as you can see here trying to get them in a calm state where i could photograph them up close together and i was scanning around here looking for the bull to come back because he had just spooked off again and i could see that i was getting the spotting info for something or like the spotting uh, icon coming up and so i was scanning back and forth and i finally get to spot it and it's a level three duck and he's actually sort of one of these bugged ones where at the moment since the latest update you'll get ducks that kind of get stuck like this where it's almost like they're coming into land and it's just a level three mallard chilling there and i was like what on earth so while i was waiting for the piebald bull to come back and hopefully try and get a decent picture of him and the melanistic together nice and close came and took out this duck and he is a diamond 19.90 not a particularly massive diamond or anything but that is the only diamond i have found that's been one of these weird ones where they're they're stuck like that and that just added to how crazy this experience was now i spent a really long time trying to get a really nice picture of these two rares together and you can see here i came sort of tantalizingly close with them being that close to me but unfortunately then the herd moved and they all sort of took off again and then I waited for them to come back and then we had this where they were so so close with the female behind the tree and I was pretty content to carry on doing this for a while until I got a picture but unfortunately a hacker joined and he was speed hacking and it made my frames go to less than one a second it was more like one every 10 seconds so i figured next time they came back and they you know came within range i would take them and we would just harvest both these animals before i end up crashing out of the session obviously i did kick the hacker but it still sort of put the fear in me that he might rejoin and that might actually cause my game to crash. Because when my frames went to, like I said, it was like less than one per 10 seconds. It was ridiculously slow. Once that happened, it just really, really sort of made me fear that I might lose these animals. And I really didn't want to lose out, especially on this piebald, who, when we finally brought him down and pick him up, actually makes gold. 
as a nice size level 3 at 274.20. Now, I didn't actually expect this guy to make gold. I wasn't sure if he would just clinch it. But he did. He did just make gold. Gold is 272.7 and he is 274.20. So just a little bit above the requirement. And what a perfect ball. In my opinion, this guy is fabulously beautiful. I absolutely love him. I love the rack. I think it's cool looking because it's, you know, it is so uneven. And for me, that just fits on a pie bold for some reason. So I was super, super happy with this. And we've still got a melanistic to shoot. Now, literally after picking this guy up, I started to pick up the tracks here of the females to figure out where they'd gone because I'd called them all in and the females had actually walked past me, then I shot the bull. I wanted to make sure I took the bull down first because obviously he's going to be a little bit more prone to spook and, you know, a little bit harder to get to come back because of him being that slightly higher level as a bull. But the females, they come back a lot easier. And as you will have seen, they're coming back already. I spooked the one because I thought it was just one that was sort of still hanging around. But it turned out the whole herd had already turned around and come back and was, you know, on their way back to where I just shot the bull. So literally out of the harvest screen from shooting the bull. And now we're going to wait for that herd of cows to come past and we're going to take out the melanistic. I had to sort of leave this all in to show. I know I did sort of do a cut on the harvest screen of the bull just to reduce the time because I stared at that thing for a long time. But by the time I came out of the harvest screen, here they are already coming back. Which is interesting with situations like this. It's so obvious how much less aware the females are of your presence than a bull. A bull would never get this close to me not being fully hidden and, you know, not notice. But these cows can actually walk past me and sort of not be fully aware that I'm there. And here is the melanistic. She actually stops perfectly there for us. And I take the shot and I end up actually getting killed by the others as they try to run away. Thankfully, the lodge is right by the lake. So I literally only had a couple hundred meters to run to come and pick her back up. And here she is, a melanistic Roosevelt elk cow. Now, I'd really, really love to find a melanistic bull one day. This is my second melanistic Roosevelt elk cow on PC. But I had to tax her and put her somewhere in the lodge because it's just such a crazy cool experience. That is one of the coolest things I have ever had happen to me in Call of the Wild. Having two rares that close to each other, um, it was just insane. And I was like, there's no way this is happening. And then with the level three duck as well, I know that level three ducks aren't particularly uncommon, but... When you've already got two crazy things happening and then that happens as well, it's just like, what is going on? What is going on? But that was so, so incredibly cool and I couldn't wait to share this with you guys. And I was so excited when I, you know, posted it in the discords and everything. Like, this was really, really awesome. And I had such a fantastic time, you know, trying to get those photos. Unfortunately, I never did get the picture I was really hoping for. But I did get some footage where you can see how close they were together. Which, you know, I get to share that with you guys through the video. And that to me is, you know, as good as if I got a picture where I could post it in the discords. Because you guys can see that piebald was stood next to that melanistic in some of those clips. So yeah, I was so, so thrilled. And I hope that that's come across. Because the past couple of days of hunting in Call of the Wild and also in the Hunter Classic have been really, really insane. Um... I'm going to have a Hunter Classic video out very soon as well with a really crazy thing that happened in there. But yeah, this was really epic and I just couldn't wait to share it. And I'm rambling now. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Thank you so, so much for watching. And thank you as always for all your support and everything you do. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.